so it's been a while since i posted so i thought i'll just post an update video right not much has happened to the guy except i filled in that gaps there you can see i started sending the bumper but then life happened and some things went wrong in my life and i just had to sort out a few things but now we're back um i've moved etc and i'm ready to get back into it so i'm gonna give you an update on what's happening firstly you can see there's a pizza box on this front fender here so what i'm trying to do now is bring this right to the corner and then um close up this whole hole that i actually had here it was uh irritating me quite a bit so i'm gonna just close it up and then send this thing down i also send down the fender um thinking i was gonna spray it but didn't actually get down to it i want to actually spray the front quarter third of this car and then i can see if the black with the red tinsel is quite nice so the back as you can see it's looking a bit better um rounded out these edges etc and yeah it looks flipping nice to be honest in my opinion does need more lows though it is a bit of a problem currently also sorted out here so send it down there made that straight and then just made that straight as well All right and as you can see it's looking much better um doesn't obviously join the body i think that's like the hardest thing to actually get right is to make it join the body uh if i get a chance to i'll definitely try my best to do that then we fix the boot spoiler so i just wanted to show you like how what is this angle like really this tactile spoiler has a mad angle all right and yeah it's basically done also so we sanded it um joined it properly it's basically done now ready to be sprayed uh with some more sanding obviously not sure if i should actually finish the side cell piece here what i ended up doing was knocking in this fender just to see how it was i have extras of these fenders so don't lose your marbles it didn't come out exactly how i wanted it to but now i'm thinking of doing the rx7 style uh pandem kits where and like i think the 86 pandem kit has it as well where it goes kind of in and then joins to the body so i'll cut out on like this line here make it go in to join that fender and then come down then the side cell piece i want to do a piece that comes from here out and then round about the back door starts going up and joining into the rear fender once that's done the car is ready to be sprayed and then i think like the cosmetics on the outside is done then it's time to focus on the interior eventually do want to do a um i do want to turbo it eventually do want to put the vents in the bonnet here um but those are all like things that can be done after really so that's my update guys um sorry i haven't posted in a while but uh i'm back now and we're gonna get back into it we're gonna finish this car and 2020 is gonna be the year guys i mean if you just hit some more low it would be really cool uh the problem is if i want to go lower in the back with these wheels i need to cut out the door and i'm not too keen on that right and even when it comes to the front i'll have to cut out like some of the chassis on the front so i need to google that see um safety firstly and how i can actually like reinforce it and make it strong again so that's my update guys hope you guys like these angles and i will see you probably by the end of the week